We're about to play Medical Confessions with the one and only Tony Hale, two-time Emmy winner. Rock star extraordinaire who's going right. to trick me with his medical That's knowledge. Right. Rock star. What was that? I don't know. Rock that. star. Rock star. I, all I heard was rock star. <laughs> Pee whoop. I am legitimately considering getting a hair transplant, but I'm very nervous. I have tremendously bad BO. Thanks, Dan. And have to shower multiple times a day. When you say multiple times a day, how many times are you thinking? Uh, it's two to three, depending on what I'm doing. Okay, do you, have people commented on your BO? Yes. Is it like partners you're with and stuff? Not only, but yes. Okay, with your hair, is it typically on the back? Like, to, do you, are you losing hair back here? Or are I'm, you saying, are you just worried about thinning in general? I'm worried about patches missing. Do you, do you examine your hair every day? No, I'm not actually as worried about the hair loss as I am more about the process of getting the transplant. I see, have you researched it? A lot. In terms of BO, do you use extra deodorant? Extra, no. I think the um, BO is the lie. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I, I can relate to the hair transplant. Okay. <laughs> because the hair transplant um, is not where you think it is. I'm thinking about getting it on my face for a bald spot on my facial hair. Is it this one right here? Yeah, I don't know which side it's on. It's like, there's like a hole. Somewhere. Interesting. Because I want it to be like, you know, that's why I, I want the fullness, but I want to show people the process of what it's like to yeah, go through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I think I should just do it on myself as an experiment and Phil, listen. Lie detector on. Okay, I broke a toe or I slammed my finger in the door and my nail came off. How long until your nail came off? Ooh, I would say ooh, three weeks. And was there bruising? Oh yeah. Where? Right, like it came down here, but then it was the whole nail was black. And then it fell off. And then, it, well, not immediately, but it. it and then fell once off. it fell off, was there still bruising? Mm. 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 I don't. <laughs> I don't remember that actually. Which door was it? Oh, it was the sliding door from a van. A van. It, it, yeah. <laughs> I love that you're questioning like if I have a van. <laughs> no, because my daughter was in elementary school. This was a while ago. She was in elementary school and I was slamming the door and I'm like, chump, right there. Okay, and then the pinky toe, what did you break it on? Oh, it wasn't the pinky toe. Oh. It was the toe next to the big toe. What did you break it on? I was <laughs> I was stepping over our, we have a dog door and I was stepping and then I fell and it twisted. Mm. So actually broken is probably not the best thing. I think it was probably like- Oh, so you didn't get an x-ray. I did get an x-ray. But it was broken. It was, had a little clip to it. Is that broken? Are you lying about both of these? <laughs> <laughs> I think the nail was just so, you don't have a van. I think that's what? a lie. <laughs> I'm such an all-American. I think that's a lie. Yes, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you don't, you don't have a van, right? I don't have a van. I knew it. I lost a bet in medical school and got a tattoo that I then had to laser off. Okay. I am currently battling a fungal infection. Interesting. Where is this? Ta where was this tattoo? Uh, back. The back. What was it of? Mitochondria. Sorry? Mitochondria. And that's a disease. No, that's a, a part of a cell that people is say this a is a powerhouse of the cell. I see, okay. The fungal, where was the fungal infection? Is it like in your crotch? No, uh, <laughs> my left pinky toenail. Your left pinky toe, does it itch? No. It doesn't It's itch. on the nail, not the skin. Is it something that a cream helped? No, it's 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 not it's a, always it's there. not a cream issue. It just flares up? No, it, it's flared up right now and it's gonna take a long time to treat. How many laser surgeries did you have to go through to get rid Six. of it? Six. Six. Were they expensive? Very expensive. And were they painful? Very painful. How much of your back did it go? It was very small. Is it completely gone? Completely gone. So they took all the dye out? Yes. And so the fungal infection is on your toe. Did your toenail come off? No. No, still have it. I think the tattoo is truth. No. Ah. <laughs> I got it. That was good. That was good too. I, I do have a, a fungal infection on my toenail. I should have thought like, who puts a cell on their back? <laughs> this this guy. I had um, these white spots in my mouth. Mm -hmm. And the second one is I had a weird rash on my thighs. Does the rash on your thigh cause psychosocial harm to you? It reminded me of eczema. It happened when I was doing a gig and it was outside 
And I came home and it just it got inflamed. Did you, were you aware of it before you saw it? Oh yeah. But then I kind of took a shower. It actually got worse after the shower. And when you saw the white spots in your mouth, what was the first thing that came to your mind? Why do they hurt? And they seem to be kind of deeper or they seem to be wider than like a canker sore. And you've had canker sores before? Yes. And you knew these were not canker sores? They felt like a canker sore. Were they examined by a physician? Yes. And what did they say? They said it's kind of like like yeast related. <laughs> That's it? They, they just said yeast related? Yes. Or they said you need to watch kind of what you're eating. And they, and they gave me a steroid. I think that one's the lie. The yeast. No. Really? <laughs> what? What doctor did you see that is not good advice? It's called, I should have been more dude. It's called lichen planus. Okay, so they said it was yeast related? Well, they said uh, that was kind of what helped me. Because I, I, I <laughs> but they did, they did give me like trays that would like have the steroid on it. But they, they had trays of the steroid that helped heal it. But then when I did cut out like sugar and like it actually went down. Okay. Just because if you have a fungal infection in your mouth, you it was can't... fungal related. That's the word. But I was then if for. you get fungal related, it shouldn't give you steroids. So something doesn't. I make think sense. it was also associated with anxiety. There was like a mm. flare up of okay. anxiety stuff. Fair. I actually don't need these glasses, but I wear them to look smarter. Oh, we're gonna get into that. <clears throat> I have a severe delayed allergic reaction to penicillin. Okay, let me ask you about the glasses. When did this start? Have you have you always worn glasses you thought it was cool? No. Do you wear those because you want to seem smarter? Correct. Is that because you feel like you have a baby face? No. <laughs> but apparently you do. Not a baby face, but like you're a young dude, like you're well, a young I'll, doctor. I'll, that's why, yeah. The penicillin, is this a delayed reaction, meaning how long until you have a reaction? Days. Days. And when was this discovered? High school. What happened? I had mono. I took penicillin. <laughs> Okay, if you're, you're gonna tell me the truth, take off your glasses. Can you see, can you see that? 333. I think you're, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're lying about the penicillin. No, I was lying about the glasses. Oh shoot, I was gonna go that way, but then I was like, no, that's too, I'm like who does wear? You know how hard it was for me to see the 333? I was about to say 343, but I'm like, no, I don't think it's 343 yet. Dang it, I'm sorry, Asthma Foundation. <laughs> I got hives from an allergy shot or a blood vessel in my eye popped and it covered, blood covered my eye. A subconjunctival hemorrhage. Um, All right, What fine. did you do? <laughs> what did you do? That's, oh enough. That's enough. We can settle down now. <laughs> what did you You're do smart. when you saw you got the, the eye? Stop wasting my 60 <laughs> seconds. What did you do when you saw the red eye? Oh, I freaked out and because I, I was shooting Alvin and the Chipmunks at the time. Okay. I was the bad guy in Alvin and the Chipmunks. And did you go see a physician? No, because they. I was so terrified the next day and they said we can uh, touch up we can fix it in post. Your eye? Yeah. Wow. Because it was the whole left side was covered red from the blood vessel pop. And then what was your allergy shot for? It was just a standard allergy shot. Then the whole, it was like right down here to here. It got, just got hives. And what were you getting the allergy shot for? Just a bit, like, like a routine allergy shot. A routine allergy? Do you get those often? Once a week. And why did this one affect you so? I guess it was a higher dose. Oh man, these are both so real. I know. Just on odds, I'm gonna go with the eye being real. Wrong. Oh! I just recently got the hives. $3,000 hairs to the AAFA. So fun. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this, this was is... great.